This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at entropy. Entropy, which is given the symbol S, refers to the distribution of available energy among the particles in a system. The more ways the energy can be distributed, the higher the entropy. Here we have simple particle models of a solid, a liquid, and a gas. As the state changes from solid to liquid to gas, there are more ways in which the energy can be distributed, therefore the entropy increases. So solids have the lowest entropy and gases have the highest entropy. Next, we'll watch a video of potassium permanganate being added to hot water. In this reaction, one mole of solid ionic compound dissociates into two moles of aqueous ions. The aqueous ions have higher entropy than the solid crystal. The entropy of the system increases. Next we look at some more factors that increase entropy. The first example is a change of state from liquid to gas, which is evaporation. Here we have bromine as a liquid evaporating to form bromine as a gas. Because gases have higher entropy than liquids, we have an increase in entropy. The next example is increase in the number of particles, which is dissociation. When one mole of solid ionic compound dissociates into two moles of ions, we have an increase in entropy. Next is an increase in the number of moles of gas. In the reactants, we have six moles of gas. In the products, we have seven. Therefore, we have an increase in entropy. And in our final example, we have one mole of solid calcium carbonate decomposing to form one mole of solid and one mole of gas. This is also an increase in entropy. And next we'll have a look at factors that decrease entropy. So the first example is a change of state from gas to liquid, which is condensation. Here we have water as a gas condensing to form water as a liquid. Liquids have a lower entropy than gases, therefore we have a decrease in entropy. Next is a decrease in the number of particles. In this reaction, we have two moles of aqueous ions forming one mole of solid ionic product, which is a decrease in entropy. And next is a decrease in the number of moles of gas. In this reaction, we have three moles of gas in the reactants and two moles of gas in the products, which is a decrease in entropy. And in our last example, we have two moles of gas forming one mole of solid. Solids have a lower entropy than gases, therefore it's a decrease in entropy. And finally, we look at the sign of entropy change. If the state changes from a solid to a liquid to a gas, the entropy increases and the sign of the entropy change is positive. If the state changes from a gas to a liquid to a solid, entropy decreases and the sign of the entropy change is negative. So an increase in entropy has a positive value for delta S. A decrease in entropy has a negative value for delta S. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.